हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सोनल मोटगरी बाल पांडे एंड यू आर वाचिंग सोनल द कोच एस एम बी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन एरर व्हिच इज फॉरबिडन यू डू नॉट हैव परमिशन टू एक्सेस दिस रिसोर्स और दिस दिस साइट कांट बी रीच्ड इफ वी फेस एनी ऑफ दिस इशू यू कैन फॉलो दिस वीडियो द रिक्वायरमेंट टू अचीव दिस गोल इज जस्ट इफ यू हैव रन द सेटअप इंस्टॉल कमांड ऑन योर विंडोज मशीन एंड दैट रन सक्सेसफुली in that case if you are not still able to access your site just follow the solutions mentioned here in this video there are four steps which we need to follow the first is set up document read second is add a domain in the host file third is set domain in efe.php file and fourth is update base url in the database table so let's get started with the first step which is set document root now let's first understand this is your since i have installed magento with the xamp so my directory my magento directory where i have installed magento is c xamp htdocs and magento so i want this path to be a document root now in magento 2.2 and 2.4.3 this path comes from this pub directory okay magento has accessed it with this path okay so document root will become this path now if you have magento version which is 2.4.1 or earlier versions of this then you can specify path as a this where you install magento so your path will be like this c is a pseudox magento this code which we need to add in this file c is a apache conf extra this file so let me open this file in one of the editor yeah so this file has been open and now the code which is mentioned over here i can copy and paste it now as i told you this is my directory right so my version is 2.4.3 so i have taken this path so this is my documentary if you have some different folder name you can use that path okay and paste it here and now what about server name you can directly ask you know open this uh, home page with the help of this uh, localhost slash magento slash pub we recommend you to have some server name so for example so your server name looks like this your name dot magento dot com you can have give any server name which you would like to have i would like to have sonal dot magento dot com so this is my server name so simply copy and paste this code from here to your file to virtual host file now the question comes for example i have magento directory like this and also i want to install magento in some other folder so what to do you will need to create a new folder and let's say it's a magento 2 and here you will need to install magento or any other project maybe wordpress or some blog or any other project you can install uh, keep the main folder over in sd docs that's it and you can access it like this you can give different server name you know give different path so you will copy and paste this not need this because this will be same but you can copy and paste the way i did here okay likewise you can have multiple websites or multiple uh, projects on one single stdox folder the step one is done now let's follow the step number 2 which is add domain in the host file so host file has access only to the to the administrator users so to tell i mean to tell the computer that you have administrator privileges we will open this host file with the administrator privileges so to do that we will copy this location okay this is the file where we need to add this code so copy and we will open this in the notepad make sure that you open notepad with the run as a administrator privileges click on this so this will open the notepad like this now file and i have copied this path open 
paste this and enter. See. Likewise. So now you can see 127.0.0.1 and this is the server name. Here in the step 1 we have mentioned. So whatever name you have specified use the same over here. What if you have multiple projects? So if you have created one more copy of this and their server name is something different. So you can specify multiple server names here in this file with the space in between them like this. So let me um, so here you can see there is a space and then again a different server name I have given for multiple projects. You can use this technique. Step 2 is clear. So in the step 2 we need to restart the Apache. So open the XAMPP control panel. Now stop and restart it. Stop and then start again this Apache. Okay. Very simple. Third step is again very simple which is to set a domain in env.php. So to do that, let's go to our Magento directory, which is this. Then which path it says app etc env.php. App etc env.php. So we open this env.php file. Now what changes we need to make over here is we will search this downloadable domains. Okay. Or you can simply scroll down. It is over here. See? Okay. Or you can search like this in this file. So it's here. What is need to be updated? Your server name. Whatever you have specified, you can write over here. Make sure you have the same server name which you mentioned in the step number 1, step number 2, and then again in the step number 3. After that, let's go to the fourth step which is update base URL in the database table. So whenever you install Magento in the core config data table. Okay. So let's go to the PHP admin. So this is how I have opened. Now let me select the database. So Magento is my database name. Now here core config data will have the entries of our base URL. Okay. So we will copy this command and after selling the database in the SQL queries, here we will paste it. Now make sure that you will update server name here. Whatever server name you have selected, put it here. So I have sonal.magento.com and let me run go. Simply. Okay. So this is how you can follow these four steps and can access your site like this now so you can access your admin uh, url putting slash admin okay or whichever name you have given to access the admin panel you can do that so this is very simple steps follow it uh, follow it step by step and if still if you face any issue feel free to comment below i will definitely reply back and will help you Thank you so much. And one more thing, make sure that you subscribe, like this video and share so that other people will also get benefited. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.